All right, here at the Daggett home, just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at. So we'd be looking at all the trim, siding, windows, um, doors, gutters, downspouts, pretty much any surface um, that can be painted on the house, uh, we were quoting to uh, repaint. Um, these windows in the front, so these two sets of windows here, and then these windows top and bottom um, are all getting replaced with new wood windows, so they'll need to be primed and painted. Um, the front door would need to be repainted as well. Uh, we'll leave the storm door alone, but obviously the inner door would need to be repainted. So, a couple of areas of concern. Obviously, we've got some peeling down here at the bottom, so stuff like that would be scraped, primed, and then repainted. And then you've got caulking along the brick, so we would recaulk all of that um, anywhere that we see that. Um, you've got peeling here on the fascia. Um, so scrape and prime that. It's not bad. The wood looks like it's in good shape uh, up there. Just needs some prep work um, before we can paint it. So then you'll see as far as the gaps there. I know these are being replaced, but um, where the uh, wood meets the uh, the window or where the window meets the brick, we'll need to recalk that if there is still a gap there. So then walk over to this side. We talked about a darker siding color with a lighter trim color and I think that would work really well um, I can help with figuring out what exactly those colors are we can put samples up so happy to do that but you've got um, siding back here and then the gutters downspouts soffit underneath the gutters back of the home you've got more windows to be repainted and then you've obviously got the siding gutters gutter boards soffit along the back here everything's in pretty good shape overall you've got some joints, butt joints on the siding that need to be recalked. You can see those gaps there. Any of these gaps here down at the bottom that need to be resealed, um, we'll take care of recalking those. And then on this back door here, let's take a look real quick. Um, got some peeling. You've got some peeling here. So just want to make sure that we scrape and prime that before we paint it. And then over to the last side, a couple things on the on the left side of the home. I just want to point out, so you've got some siding over here. Um, you've got some peeling on this band board. Uh, the board itself looks like it's okay. Just some peeling that needs to be scraped and primed. And then we are not touching the garage doors. Those are faux wood doors, so we'll leave those alone. We would be doing the, uh, the garage door trim. So you've got some peeling on the garage doors themselves that need to be scraped and primed and any kind of caulking that needs to be redone where the wood meets the brick. So you can see that right there. All that needs to be recalked. A couple boards of concern. This board behind the downspout, not 100% sure if it's bad or not. So I'm, I'll put a price there um, that if it is, when we get up to prep it, if it is bad, uh, you'll have a price for us to replace that board and then this fascia board up here on um, this angled fascia board So again, I don't think that that's necessarily bad But I will include a price to replace that if we get up there and find out it is bad. So overall, that's pretty much it um, one last thing here Quite a bit of peeling on this band board here and then this ba uh, this door frame So obviously we need to scrape prime recalk and make sure everything's good before uh, we get to the painting aspect of it so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, but I will get this quote together and have it over to you this evening. Thank you.